Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make these little cute flowers that you can use to on any of your other um, uh, projects in just three rows. This flower is made in just three rows. You're going to need some yarn, any thickness. This is a size 8, but you can make it a size 5 or bigger or smaller. It depends on how big you want your flower to be. You're going to use your scissors. You're going to need an embroidery needle and you're going to need your crochet hook. I used a size one and a half millimeter crochet needle for this flower. Let's start. We're going to start by making 75 chain stitches. So you're going to make your first slip stitch, slip knot. and 75 chain stitches to start with your first row we're going to add 4 chain stitches 2, 3, 4 that will be your first double crochet stitch plus the 2 chain stitches that you need to make so you're going to make your first double crochet in the fourth chain stitch from your hook. So that's one, two, three, four. And you're going to make your double crochet in there. Then your next one, you're going to skip two, make a double crochet in that stitch. Make two chain stitches, one, two, and make a double crochet in the same stitch that you made your first double crochet for this. Now you're going to skip two again, two chain, one, two, going to make one double crochet in that one. Two chain and a double crochet in the same stitch. You're going to continue with this until you get to the end of this row. When you're done with your row, your first row, you're going to make three chain stitches one, two, three and turn. That will be your first double crochet stitch of the next row. So now you're going to make another double crochet in the two chain stitch um, space. You're going to make two chain stitches and two double crochets in the same two chain stitch space. So one and we're going to move directly to the next two chain stitch space where you're going to make two double crochet stitches one two two chain stitches and two double crochets in the same space. One. Two. You're going to continue with this until you get to the end of this row. When you're done until the end, you're going to turn around, you work around, and this is your last row chain 2 which will count, count as your first half double crochet stitch and you're going to make 6 half double crochet stitches in the 2 chain stitch space so I've got 1 2 
3 4 5 and 6 and then you're going to make you'll see there's your, your next V stitch with the two double crochets and two chain and you've got your two double crochet stitches there with your two chain and your two double crochet stitches there now in that space in between the two you're going to make a single crochet stitch then you're going to carry on into the next two chain stitch space you're going to make six half double crochet stitches one two three four five and six then again in between the two there's your next two chain stitch space in between the two you're going to make a single crochet stitch in that space there and you're going to carry on with your six half double crochet stitches in the two chain stitch space single crochet in between the two there and you're going to carry on until you get to the end of this row when you've done with your row you can uh, cast off your um, yarn um, but leave a long piece of yarn so that you can work your little flower um, together come on now there you go and there you are you're done you can see that um, your end row is turning about inwards on the ends. So you can you can choose if you want to have your little rows like with the petals looks like it's close like this one. Then you're gonna start on this side and you're gonna start with your circle. Um, on this side but if you want to uh, let your petals look like your petals are open you're just gonna make your little rows your circles the other way around so let's do that one and as you go along you're gonna work your little petals here at the bottom you're gonna work them together see if you want your little rows to look like little bend to the outwards and you're going to work it here at the bottom you're going to work them together and there you are you can see the difference it all depends on how you want your little rows to look the petals move look like it's closing or when it's opening and you're gonna just work it in the bottom you're gonna work them together but there's your little rose or little flower that you can use 